Lance here from BG Trading. Hope you're well. Today is 8th of June 2021, and I will be talking about uh, the three best gold stocks to invest in Australia, especially now that threads of hyperinflation in the air. So let's have a look. Guys, I just want to remind you, this is not a financial advice, it's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply BG Trading strategies uh, to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, how we avoid FOMO into positions that are already very expensive. All that covering to this channel. Now, if you like the video, obviously I ask you guys to subscribe our channel, hit the like button. And I also want to let you know that we have a free Facebook group, which will put a lot of content. All the details will be available at the description below. Now, let's kick in. Now, guys, uh, first of all, so I wrote this article on, it is available on our website, vgtrading.com.au. Uh, what are the best gold stocks to invest and beat the hyperinflation? And then we come up with a list of stocks. And obviously the three, and I go straight to the name of the three largest ones in Australia, which is the Newcrest Mine Limited, Northern Star uh, Resources, and Evolution Mine. All those three uh, companies uh, are very profitable at the moment, they're paying dividends, and they have a great prospect uh, to even increasing further its uh, profitability. Another fact you need to take a look on those stocks uh, and then compare each stock that if you're ever going to invest in the gold is what is the what they call ISIC, which is the all uh, in sustainable cost, which he, uh, uh, basically is the whole cost related to producing a gold. And then finally, the other question you need to ask yourself is, Okay, the company that we're talking about, it is a gold producer or it is a gold explorer? Gold explorers, they don't make, most of the time, they only drain money out of. So they need keep, uh, they keep needing capital raisings and the return on investment will, a lot of time, actually most of the time, uh, be very speculative and, a, uh, and end up uh, losing money on the trade. Okay, so the best thing from the investment perspective, and this is really what we do here at BG Trading with our VIP members, we try to trade stocks that uh, have a good, solid, fundamental value, most importantly. Because as I said before, we want to sleep at night. We don't want to sit into uh, some, uh, what they call, uh, and uh, sorry about the term, dog shit stocks and cheap sort of penny stocks that doesn't, um, doesn't let us uh, relax after. So I'm going to jump in the first one here, which is Northern Star Resources. This is my favorite stock, guys, and the reason is not just because we have been trading this stock quite a few times over the last year, not just last year, but when there was um, uh, SARS and we also used to trade a lot of um, that, but uh, just because we this stock allows any investor uh, to actually take advantage of uh, some nice and large share price swings. Okay, and at the moment, if we if we take a look on the gold gold price, gold price is hitting again. is is on the rise as fears of inflation. It is considered for uh, by a lot of uh, market gurus as a safe haven, and is currently trading on one thousand nine hundred US dollars an ounce. So this is uh, very high compared to what it used to be let's say, for instance, 10 years ago, for example. So this is a 20 years chart, okay? So it's on the rise again. And obviously with a lot of those stimulus pack, uh, government stimulus pack around the world, uh, that will trigger potentially uh, trigger a hyperinflation and the investors will look for solid assets. We still believe that gold has intrinsic and solid value is what they call with Mr. Robert Kiyosaki calls God's money. And that has uh, through the history proven to be solid towards a uh, inflation. So now looking at the first stock, Northern Star uh, Resources, which the SX code is NST. 
as you can see here, the stock is currently trading about 34% below last year highs, uh, which actually November last year. And then that ever since that, uh, that last year, um, highs on the gold price, then then starts decreasing and went all the way down to uh, $1,700. But now it's on a rise again. And the interesting thing is uh, these gold stocks, they still are uh, trading uh, fairly under what was before. So I can see here, uh, despite we have what we call a, a bearish intersection level uh, two here, I believe they could potentially um, just be a bounce back around the SM level as we saw here. And then uh, what we wanted to have is in the next few days, green candles that will uh, confirm the stocks going up. But the thing is buying a um, rising stock at the SM levels or under, it is the way to go. What we don't want to do is we don't want to buy the stock when uh, the distance between the share price and the SMA, and if you don't know what SMA is, is the red line, when this distance is too high or greater than 10%, because then means you are FOMO. You are already FOMO in. So in this case, in this case, and this is a highlight in yellow, you are not FOMO if you buy now, provided there will be a confirmation with green candles and high volumes over the next few days, which I believe will if gold price keeps on rising. The same thing applies for uh, Australian biggest gold mine, which is a Nailcrest mining. So uh, the same thing applies. So we, as you can see here, the chart formation is very similar. Uh, this company sort of produce a gold very cheaply. And, um, and making a lot of money and giving some great dividends to investors at the moment, okay? So it's not a, it's a stock that you're going to trade and make profit, but also uh, dividend if you're holding during the ex-dividend date. Now, it is trading 26% below August heights, and then ever since uh, their high on a, on a peak happened, and then the stock starts falling quite a lot, quite heavily actually, as gold price has fallen. But now is in the verge of recover, as I said before. And then that is, a, I think there's another opportunity here to, uh, to capitalize out of gold stocks. And that it is not just a short term investment, but there would be a long term investment as well. Just so you understand. Now, at the moment, it is trading around the SMA level, which once again, according to BG trading strategy, that's what we want to be buying when the stock is trading uh, at or under SMA level. If it's ascendant stock trading at those levels. Now, what we don't want again in this stock trade is we don't want to buy when it is at the peak here when the distance is greater than 10%. Okay. To be honest, we at BG Trading like to buy uh, at or under only. We don't like to buy any distance, any uh, any level superior to um, to the SMA levels. But you know, if he, uh, you uh, you're very certain that the stock's going to keep going, up, there's no much problems over the medium term. But I see uh, easily 35% upside on this stock as well. Uh, and that is, I mean, until probably the end of the, uh, the year. So, but you need to follow gold prices as well. And then the one that uh, has actually outperformed the other ones was Evolution Mine. Evolution Mine is currently trading only 19% below uh, COVID, uh, sorry, the highest after COVID which was uh, in November last year. It's on the rise as well. And, is, uh, and not, it's not as technically cheap as the other ones, as it is already trading above the SMA uh, line here, 3%, actually about 3%, which still puts pretty much into a buying range here. Okay, so all those three stocks are great stocks to uh, to have uh, exposure in the portfolio if you want to uh, look into a uh, gold stock and be, let's say, for instance, be diversified and take advantage of a potential rising uh, sector, which has already been rising, but it's still uh, more upside to come. Evolution Mine, we see another 22% until it starts hitting the, the top. 
which we call normally a hypothetical uh, resistance. If that happens, we obviously uh, we believe there is more upside for um, a Northern Star resources, and that's the one we actually prefer trading. Guys, this is, was uh, my take on the main Aussie uh, gold producers. And if you want to know a little bit more about those uh, those uh, stocks, we have some uh, a little bit more in-depth analysis, which we already post in our Facebook group. And also we have a list of other uh, like smaller miners as well, smaller producers that um, also uh, generate some. Santa Barbara uh, Limited is one of the good ones as well. But we wouldn't invest in any miner that uh, has a, a market capitalization less than 100 a hundred uh, million, because that is uh, is beginning to be very dangerous, especially if it doesn't produce anything. Well, this was our taking on the best golden miners in Australia. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And obviously, I always ask you to uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestion, if you think we we say something that doesn't make sense, uh, please we open for a chat. So have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.